Good morning, Packers. I'm Lily Dunn. Welcome to the morning announcement. Today is Wednesday, November 11th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for our Panther Pledge. This pledge helps us remember to be safe, be respectful, and be avid learners. As a Seminole Trails Panther, I will conduct myself at all times and all places with honor and respect for myself, my classmates, my teachers, my school, and my community. Today's lunch meal is chicken nuggets with dinner rolls peach yogurt platter with honey roasted sunflower seeds, fresh broccoli, flores assorted milk, and assorted fruit selection. Now here's Zoe with the weather. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Zoe Cummings. Today's weather is the high of 84 degrees, low of 79 degrees, with a 40% chance of rain. Today's word of the day is sacrifice. Sacrifice is to suffer injury or loss for the sake of a cause. We thank all our veterans for sacrificing their lives for our freedom. Now here's Miss Bush for a special announcement. Good morning, Panthers. This is Miss Bush. I'm here to give an announcement about our first virtual family literacy night, which is tomorrow from 6.30 to 7.30. So remind your parents to go on your Google Classroom stream for your class, and there's a flyer there with the links so that your parents can pick breakout sessions to join with you and your siblings if you have siblings. So make sure you're on the lookout for our first virtual family literacy night tomorrow night, Thursday, 6.30 to 7.30. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher and they'll give you the information. Uh, we hope to see you there tomorrow night at 6.30. Um, next we have, and I want you to stay tuned to a, for a short video on what Veterans Day is. November 11th is Veterans Day. Americans honor veterans, people who have served or currently serve in the U.S. military. What makes November 11th special? On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, the battles of World War I ended. The Allied countries and Germany called a truce, also known as an armistice, and November 11th became known as Armistice Day. The following year, President Woodrow Wilson asked Americans to mark the anniversary of Armistice Day with a moment of silence in gratitude to the soldiers who had fought for peace. Americans did that and more. They held parades and other gatherings all across the country to publicly thank the World War I veterans. In 1954, Congress changed the holiday's name from Armistice Day to Veterans Day to recognize all soldiers who serve in war or peace. Today, there are more than 23 million veterans in the United States. Do you know any veterans? How do you thank them? For lesson plans, digital resources, and more teacher support materials, visit pbskidslearningmedia.org.